Hi, my name is Christy Ebong. I work for Cedar sinai Health System. My role is three parts. I work as a director of health technology and I navigate my time between leading strategies for the health system, things around virtual services, how we're using new technologies around telemedicine, telehealth. Uh, the second element of what I do is working for our venture fund. We have a joint $80 million fund between Cedar sinai Health System and Memorial Care. Um, in seven hospital system, also in Los Angeles, Southern California area. And the third piece of my role is with our accelerator. We have an accelerator partnership with Techstars. We are their exclusive healthcare partner. And we run three month programs every, every nine months or so to expand and promote these, these innovations for the use by both our patients and our providers. I'm here today to represent a new model for doing things in terms of how care is delivered and really explaining how the structure around what we've done as a health system, as a delivery system, is creating opportunities to partner with entrepreneurs and with designers and folks who are really thinking differently about healthcare um, in a way that allows us to remove barriers to trying new things and making those things successful. I think design is so important when it comes to healthcare if you're really looking at diversity as part of your team. And that's not just the obvious, it's the right thing to do when it feels good. But if we only have young people designing for healthcare, or if we only have um, people from certain ethnic backgrounds, we're missing solutions and ways of thinking that really create whole new opportunities to solve really hard problems. We have a diversity represented in our cohort teams within our accelerator. That's age diversity, gender diversity, ethnic diversity, um, even a lot of folks with different socioeconomic backgrounds. Um, and I think what that brings to the table is people think fundamentally different about how to help different patient populations. Um, and they, they really experience it from the inside. So we combine design methodology and disciplined, methodical ways of approaching hard questions with folks that come with different availability heuristics and different experiences to the table. Nobody really knows where we're going in terms of volume to value. I think we're always going to have a little bit of both. Um, we don't spend a lot of our time trying to say, which one are we going for? Instead, we say, here's a cool idea, here's a cool technology, here are a bunch of places that we could use it, and we, we do the matchmaking. So in essence, really looking at a great technology and say a use case, a clinical use case, or a specialty area within the hospital, or a type of provider or a type of patient, and saying, how do those two match? And in some cases, it's a value play. In some cases, the business model is really looking at on that 50,000 foot level, how are we improving things for our patients? And in other cases, it's transactional. Um, and sometimes it's a little bit of both, and I think the beauty is not in having to make that decision up front. The beauty is in saying, we've got a great idea and really bright people, and we've got a million places that have a lot of pain. How can we marry those two and, and make things happen?